Congratulations on winning the Arizona Press Club 2013 Brick Wall Award. The Arpaio First Amendment Disservice Award, also known as the Brick Wall, honors officials and government agencies that do their utmost to ignore public records requests and open meeting laws, hide or destroy public documents and place themselves above the public's constitutional right to know about their government. This year's recipient is the Apache County Board of Supervisors. The board eliminated its call to the public from its meeting agendas because of criticism from residents. I don't like being criticized in public and to have people come here and say, we are doing this or doing that is not okay, said Supervisor Joe Shirley Jr. Supervisor Barry Weller twi tried twice to restore the call to the public but couldn't get a second on his motion either time. The board also reject ejected a resident who tried to live stream a board meeting Tonight, public records requests refused to email public records and charge fees to review public records, regardless of whether copies were requested. Now, I'm assuming this government must be enjoying the negative publicity generated by the award, since County Manager Wenger has now decided to cut off public access to Wi-Fi connection in this building, even though it's actually funded with taxpayer dollars. Furthermore, fulfillment of public records requests have now been elevated to a privilege reserved for provision at the discretion of the Apache County Records Manager, rather than as required by state statute, which would be upon request during regular business hours after the records have been collected. Personally, I think you're doing an excellent job of providing a proven pattern of unlawful activity that will eventually result in some sort of legal action on the part of a state or federal agency. I strongly urge you to continue abusing your authority and imposing regressive and discriminatory policies until you finally succeed in having yourselves removed from office. The fact that Apache County now faces almost a million dollars in budget shortfall is not that surprising to those who've observed the reluctance of the county manager and several of the supervisors to exhibit any sort of fiscal responsibility regarding the creation of contingency funds. Therefore, it's really just a matter of time until the revolving credit lines extended to multiple struggling school systems, along with the debt due in 2017 and the crumbling statewide reputation of this government, all finally managed to succeed in utterly destroying our bond review. Thank you and congratulations on a job well done.